Hello, so as you've probably already uh, heard, that we are, we've changed the, the concept class uh, for cost this year, for 2022. So as part of these changes, we've, we've took it upon us to look at uh, how, the, how we run the competition, how we score the competition, how we set um, the parts that you need to pre-submit. So the thinking behind this is we wanted to align this more to FS class um, so it become more of a transition phase so you could as a concept class get a good understanding and kind of a springboard into to FS class in your first year in the competition um, and it, we feel this is quite important from, from a team to kind of develop and allow you to, to progress further in the competition. So some of the things that you need to, to kind of remember and take on board is that you need to check the rules because they have changed. Um, make sure you understand what documents you're required to fill out and submit. So this is something new for Concept Class. We've never asked you to submit documents or we haven't asked you to submit documents before. So we want you to now submit documents as you do for as FS Class do on, on the dates out in the rules. So be mindful of that. Don't leave it to the last minute. Make sure you submit ahead of time. Um, what I would say with these documents, that now you're submitting them, we want you to make sure that you put the, a, a good level of information in there. So when you're thinking about the cost explanation file, make sure you're thinking about the types of things, the labour rates, the burden rates, all the things that go to making up the costs within the bomb. Um, make sure you've detailed these out so as a, as a judge, when we get the, the first impression of your team, we'll be looking at these documents. So make sure it's formatted well and it's laid out and it's easy to find um, and that there are drawings for the potential drawings for the components that you're going to um, provide if you've got those available for frame and body and on that as a concept class we're only asking you to cost one section which is frame and body um, we also only expect you to produce a bomb for that section so we we don't want uh, bombs for any other sections it's just the frame and body there is also going to be a real world task um, which we will be um, announcing later on. This will probably be in the new year. Um, so keep an eye out for a video or and, and the supporting information for what we expect there. Now, with that task, we are going to expect the team to present that to the judges on the day. So you don't need to pre-submit that, but on the day you'll be given 10 or 15 minutes within your allocated time to present that. And you can present that in, in any format that you like. It can be on flip charts, it can be using uh, office or PowerPoint or however you want to do. Um, we'll leave that entirely up to you. Just remember that obviously we're going to be potentially in your judging bay. There's going to be quite a lot of noise for in, in, the, in the area so just be prepared as a team to present that uh, to, the, to the judges. There's also new for next year is going to be a live final. Um, so we're going to select the top four teams um, that get through the initial judging session, sessions and uh, which we will do a live final format very similar to what we do for FS class um, so keep an eye out and, and listen out for, for more details on that on the day um, and good luck I hope to see you next year